Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today? We've got an interesting pen for you today. Can you guess what it is? Well, if you look at the clip there, maybe that'll give you a clue. Yes, what we've got is a Waterman's fountain pen. This model is the Waterman's Taperite fountain pen. Now, the Taperite fountain pens came out around about the 90, well around about 1945 and at the time obviously Parker were well they were very sort of um, up front and very popular with regards to the Parker 51 fountain pen so what happened is a lot of companies sort of jumped on the bandwagon and this is Waterman's answer to the Parker 51 as I say it's the Waterman's Taperite fountain pen now the taperite pens they came in different sort of uh well the different colors different caps etc with different names um crusader stately citation is just a number of the pens this one i believe this to be the waterman's taperite conquest and that's just simply by the cap which we'll show in a little moment as i say from around about 1945 is when they brought them out although this one i think is a little bit later maybe around about 1947 you can also well you've also obviously noticed there it's a leverfill fountain pen it's got the very sort of traditional waterman's box lever there as you can see there's no marking on the barrel on some of these pens i have actually seen um a sort of barrel marking this one there's no markings at all with it um it came to me a little bit of a sorry state we've fully restored it everything's been cleaned new sack etc so it should be in full working order as we said earlier they came in different colors Although this one actually looks black, it's actually a sort of a dark burgundy colour. Now, when they brought these pens out, the colours that were available were black, um, grey, tan, green, blue, and this one being what they termed as a red. Yes, I know, it looks quite sort of dark, but I do believe all the colours in the range the the shade of the color was quite dark so although they turn this one as being a red it's very much i would say a burgundy color now let's take you up to the cap here you'll see it's got this sort of well like a brushed steel cap to the very top as you've seen already is a very sort of traditional and very recognizable waterman's clip and you can see to the top of the clip there it's got the name waterman to the very top of the cap it's just got this sort of um sort of metal if you like button to the very top there and if we show you to the end of the cap there's no there's no cap band as such but it does have this this knurled um knurled pattern or this these knurled bands to the bottom of the of the cap there okay now one of the things about these pens is i do believe um because of the age what they do they tend to sort of the cap tends to have a slight wobble to it as you can see here although it's got a slight wobble there's no way the the cap is actually going to fall off this pen because there we go it takes quite a bit to actually pull the cap off and if i pop it back on again there you go you can hear it snaps shut and it's very sturdy although it's a slight wobble to it which again is quite quite normal for these particular pens um well some of them um but yeah there's no way the pe the cap is actually going to fall off because it takes quite a bit to actually pull it off so it goes on and comes off nice and sturdily um, as mentioned earlier, although this is the brush steel cap, they brought them out in different sort of gold filled, gold coloured. Some of them had a sort of a box there pattern to them. Um, some of them actually they brought out in a plastic with quite a large cap band to them. So again, they came out in lots of different variations. 
let's do you some customary twirls as you can see the pen itself is in lovely condition incidentally there we go clip the size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel 131 millimeters capped around the barrel it's approximately 11.5 millimeters in diameter so let's pop it down like so it's not a small pen it's quite a largish pen and in my large hands very comfortable to hold it's nice a nice size and nice and comfortable to hold so I'm sure it would be a very nice writer for somebody pardon yes okay I can hear you let's see it writing well that will be a good idea because as I say I've just restored it just put a new sack in it incidentally one thing I've not shown you let's put the ink to one side you can see this section there very similar section to the Parker 51 and it's got this what we term this semi hooded nib and on the nib there you can see there's no there's no markings to the nib because the markings are actually inside this section and on the nib it reads <coughs> excuse me it reads Waterman down one side it has a number 75 in the middle and to the other side it has Canada 14 carat and to the very bottom of the nib it's got the letters F D W for you people that don't know stands for Frank D W Waterman who I believe was the nephew of Lewis Waterman himself so there's the markings on the on the on the on the nib as I say everything has been thoroughly cleaned all the feed has been cleaned um, the ink channel inside has been cleaned inside the section everything has been thoroughly cleaned and there you can see the feed underneath quite a plain unassuming feed there's a sideways view so all in all a lovely well yeah a lovely semi hooded nib let's bring the ink on let's get the lever ready pop it in the ink there we go lots of bubbling going on we'll just do it the one time because it's only it's only for a writing sample let's pop the ink to one side let's bring on some paper and let's see how the pen writes so what we have is a a waterman's taperite as i said this one i believe is the conquest and i'm dating the pen from 1974 uh, not 74 should I say from 1947 okay so we're dating it from 1947 as we said this one is known as the red color although as we said earlier it's it looks more like a burgundy color because of the nib I am saying this pen was made in Canada and it was in, made in their I believe in their Quebec factory in Canada it's actually writing very nicely indeed it's a lovely lovely writer and there you can see if I put a little bit of pressure on the downward stroke we're getting a slight variation in line as well but the main thing a lovely lovely smooth writer 
as you can see it's writing I would say with a medium line a lovely wet line as well and a very smooth lovely nib to write with a little bit of variation in the line as we can see there but all in all I'm very surprised there we go lovely snap what a gorgeous writer this will make a superb everyday writer for somebody so let's find it at home somebody will be using this on a daily basis and enjoying the smooth nib on this pen a lovely lovely writer I'm very surprised so let's find it a new home so there you have it the Waterman Taperite Conquest from 1947 in this red colour although it looks burgundy with this brushed stainless or brushed steel cap and this lovely recognisable Waterman's clip to the top there so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you and using it as well lovely writer I can't I know I'm repeating myself it's gorgeous a lovely writer don't forget leave a comment below subscribe to my channel if you can and if you possibly can as well please support my work below but for now from this lovely pen I'll just simply say bye bye for now